What is going on guys? Welcome back to Skyrim Part 17, I believe it is. Um, you'll notice last episode we did not leave off on Whiterun. We are in Whiterun. Um, the reason for that being is, uh, I've been doing some stuff off camera, nothing big, nothing story-wise. Obviously I'm not dumb, I'm not going to do anything like that. But, I did run, uh, and which is something easy to get, I figured out, I looked it up. Uh, I ran and grabbed this spell, Transmute, which, uh, if, you know, if you don't know what it is, it takes one piece of iron ore <coughs> and transfers it to silver ore. Um, and then it transfers that silver ore into gold. Okay. And then you can smelt two gold ores into a gold ingot. And then you can take that gold ingot and make um, rings, uh, gold rings. You make two gold rings with one ingot. And what you're doing is you're gaining a lot of profit, like a lot, because um, you, you buy the iron ore for cheap, and then a gold ingot's worth a hundred, and then two a gold ring's worth seventy-five, and you make two out of one ingot. So you're gaining a lot of profit, and you're leveling up your blacksmithing skill. I'm doing this so uh, at some point maybe we can actually do some blacksmithing. As you can see, our smithing, if I can find it, is currently at 27, which is... And we did get a level up, that's obviously, but that's not that important that you guys didn't see. But, um, so we can start working on that at some point. I don't know that I'm ready to throw any, um, points into it yet. We'll figure out, but I don't know that I am actually ready to, to toss any points into it yet, but... That is an option that we will have um, very soon. So we uh, we actually can't do that yet. Um, we could go into something under lock picking, but we don't really need to because we have the skeleton key. We literally can't break it. Pickpocketing is not important anymore. So we're actually we got light ar armor, uh, one-handed archery. I'm really thinking our archery needs to. Um, I'm really thinking that we need to um, get our bow damage up if we're actually thinking about using it more. Um, and seeing as we kind of have a throwaway, we can get away with that. Now, now we have the thing. Um, now we have like the, uh, you know, we have our option of like. Do we return the horn now, or do we go fight this dragon? I'm honestly thinking about doing the dragon thing. Um, so, yeah, I, I think that's going to be our best bet at the moment, is to just let's, let's go fight the dragon, because that's probably going to be harder anyways. Um, and it's actually really close to Windhelm. So, yeah, let's... Uh, well, let's do this, I guess. We're gonna go Windhelm Stables, and we're gonna go do this. Um, so yeah, I, I've been, <laughs> I've really been wanting to play Skyrim so much that there are some things that don't make sense to record, or that I want to try that don't make sense to record, and I'm like, well, man, do I just start another playthrough? But then I'm sitting here thinking, like, what's the point of not working on this playthrough, even if I'm doing something that's not necessarily important for you guys to see? So that's something I've been doing is in between times I'm recording, uh, if there's something going on and I can't record or I don't, you know, feel like it at the time, uh, and I want to play Skyrim though, I'll hop on and do some stuff like that, get our blacksmithing up and all that, so, um, and then hopefully soon, sooner rather than later, we will have the ability to make, like, pretty good armor and well, really, the armor's not my problem. Like, armor's fine. Like, you guys know, like, this, the Nightingale stuff is like, I mean, what, what else do we really need for sneak characters, you know? I mean, illusion spells, we could really change that out, because we don't really need illusion, but, um, but, uh, yeah, so the armor's not really the problem, because hopefully we can kill things before they, the armor even comes into effect, but, um, Really, it's like our daggers, um, and I don't know if this was on footage or not, but just in case it wasn't, 
Um, I think this actually wasn't. I think I got this when I was getting the transmute spell. I found an elven dagger, which is better than one of our dwar dwarven daggers, so, like, I put that on. No, you don't want to go up there. A dragon, it's attacking. A dragon is attacking kind, kind groove. Well, I don't know. Not yet. It flew over the town and landed on the old dragon mound. I don't know what it's doing up there, but I'm not waiting around to find out. All right. Well, oh, hey, there's the dragon. I don't, I know there's a shout that makes dragons land, which I obviously don't have yet. But, uh, I guess we can figure that out at some point. Lorcan's eyes. Look at that big bastard. <laughs> Keep your head down. Let's see what it does. Dude, that's not nice. Why would you call him that? She literally just called him a big bastard. It's literally just not nice. Oh. Okay. Doesn't seem as if our sneak's even remotely like important at this moment. Okay. This is like very strange to me. I've never done this. Like what? What Delphine? What? Salokunir Zil Grotova Ursa. Oh, that's all the one. Let's watch and wait. This is worse than I thought. Oh my god. Oh. That's that's a skeleton dragon. Alduin Turi. Boanti Bokri has rixed Jun Kuzik. It's about to not be a skeleton dragon. Alden's literally talking to me. Oh. Such arrogance to dare take for yourself the name of Dova. Sorry, dude, I don't speak dragon. How is that exactly my fault? I didn't Hold ask on. to be born with this. What was, what was what? Yeah, so now we gotta fight this thing, and it already knows where we are, so it's like... <laughs> no point in even trying to sneak. Do we have, uh... Let's see, weapons... Uh, what's our highest dealing? arrow at the moment. The glass. We only have one of those, though. <laughs> okay, well. Come on. Ah. Alright, so we're... I'm just gonna, like, lay into this thing. I know, um... I could probably do more damage with my one hands. But... It's gonna level up our archery and... I am Salafir. Hear my voice and despair. <gasps> our frost resistant thing is like really helping us out because um this guy's the frost dragon. Going. It's to be a real fight, then. What in the world is he doing? That was an interesting tactic. And he's almost dead. There we go. I'll be damned. I did it. Wait, something's happening. Five above. Down, 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 down. So you really are. I really am. Let's uh, grab our arrows. Dragon scales. Got some gold on them. God's above. Look at that. Yeah, you know. Happens from time to time. It's true, isn't it? 
You really are dragonborn. I guess uh Guys, yeah, this kind of I owe you some answers, don't I? Go Probably. Ahead. Whatever you want to know. Nothing held back. Who are you and what do you want with me? I'm one of the last members of the Blades. A very long time ago, the Blades were Dragon Slayers, and we served the Dragonborn, the greatest Dragon Slayer. For the last 200 years since the last Dragonborn Emperor, the Blades have been searching for a purpose. Now that dragons are coming back, our purpose is clear again. We need to stop them. What do you know about the dragons coming back? Not a damn thing. I was just as surprised as you to find that big black dragon here. Um, I've seen that dragon before. The one that got away. Really? Where? It was the one that attacked Helga when Ulfric escaped from the Imperials. Interesting. Same dragon. Damn it. We're blundering around in the dark here. We need to figure out who's behind it all. I mean, do I really need to ask who the blades are? Because she just told us. It's our next move. The first thing we need to do is figure out who's behind the dragons. The Thalmor are our best lead. If they aren't involved, they'll know who is. What makes you think the Thalmor are bringing dragons back? Nothing solid, yet. But my gut tells me it can't be anybody else. The Empire had captured Ulfric. The war was basically over. Then a dragon attacks, Ulfric escapes, and the war is back on. And now the dragons are attacking everywhere, indiscriminately. Skyrim is weakened. The Empire is weakened. Who else gains from that but the Thalmor? Um, so we need to find out what the Thalmor know about the dragons. Any ideas? If we could get into the Thalmor Embassy, it's the center of their operations in Skyrim. Problem is, that place is locked up tighter than a miser's purse. They could teach me a few things about paranoia. So how do we get into the Thalmor Embassy? Hmm, I'm not sure yet. I have a few ideas, but I'll need some time to pull things together. Meet me back in Riverwood. If I'm not back when you get there, wait for me. I shouldn't be long. Keep an eye on the sky. This is only going to get worse. Okay, so... Sick. So, um, we are at 15 minutes. I think we could get away, hopefully, with running up to High Hrothgar and giving him the horn. Hopefully. Um, I mean, if we're going to, I'm going to do it. <laughs> so, we'll see how we go. But hopefully it just doesn't take that long and he doesn't, like, go send us off on some crazy thing. So let's try this out. And let's pop a save when I get in here. Before something dumb happens. Save. I wanted to keep my, uh my quick save here just in case something happens and I'm an idiot and forget to record or something. Do 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 do. Is that Boris? Oh, hey Bori. Bori. Oh Bori boy. Wolfgar. Do 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 do. Oh he's asleep. Wake up, bitch. Ah, you've retrieved the horn of Jorgen Winko. Oh. Well done. You have now passed all the trials. Sick. Come with me. It is time for us to recognize you formally as Dragonborn. Okay. Nice. Is there like a... You guys gonna like jump me in or something? Can I just... Can you guys walk like any faster? I just... It's just ridiculous. Is there any skill books I can read? Of course not. You guys literally just got food laying all over the place, huh? This guy is taking forever. I mean, I assume he's going in here. You are ready to learn the final word of unrelenting. Ooh, 
given With to all me. three words together, this shout is much more powerful. Use it wisely. Master Wolfgar will now gift you with his knowledge of Da. Fus pro Da. Yeah, give it to me. Truth. I received the Grey Bird's greeting. Dragonborn, we would speak to you. Okay. Stand between us and prepare yourself. Few can All withstand the right. unbridled voice of the Greybeard. Oh, you guys are all about to yeah, scream at me? Oh my god. This, <laughs> this is very strange. Not gonna lie to you guys. Oh. Uh, Dova Keen, I know what that word means. It's kind of creepy if I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like you guys are like cursing me or something. Ah. Okay. Dovakin, you have tasted the voice of the Greybeards and passed through unscathed. High Hrothgar is open to you. Sick. Does that mean? Okay, I, I we're at 19 minutes. I'm gonna check something out before we. Cause isn't there like I'm pretty sure there's something like at the top of the third of the world, right? Or am I crazy? That might be crazy, but we're gonna check. Cause I know this is like normally blocked off. Ah! Oh wait, it still is blocked off. Huh. Okay. Alright, well, one more thing we can do uh, before we end this episode is go drop some stuff off at the Breeze home. And uh, then try to sell some stiff. And we will go from there. We will go from there. What is going to be an honor to serve you, my thing? Okay, we got some. Uh, also, I don't know um, how I'm like. I put this up because it was just like. I'm pretty sure this is not anything special, but it's named. So I was like, sick. Alright, so let's go into the chest here. And miscellaneous, and we will store our dragon bones and scales. I don't think there's anything else we need to store at the moment. Um, we can store that for now. A lot of the stuff we do need to sell. Um, definitely need to sell the gold rings and all that. Okay, um, let's sleep real quick to it's three. Um, we'll do like nine hours. Then. Hopefully we can go sell this crap and be on our merry way. Okay. I awaken feeling well rested. Nice. Uh, also, let me do one more thing. What quick. do you need, my thing? I literally don't need anything. Uh, books. Boom. Nope, 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 no, 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 no. I didn't mean to do that. Boom. What? No, no, the bottom one. That one. Boom, boom. Okay. Alright, let's see what we can sell. Is this lady out here? Dude, like, where is she? I, I'm dying. That's my plate. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I accidentally stole that from somewhere. Hey, here she comes. These are also my items, too. I just left here. No, no, wait, wait, wait. Oh my god. Alright, we'll see if the guy inside will take him. Let me know if you see anything you like. I actually don't care about anything you own. Welcome to war. Looking to protect yourself or, or deal some, some damage? damage? Nah, it doesn't matter. Um, okay, nope, nothing. Good doing business with you. Let's shut up. Nothing there. Um, hmm. 
I literally just leave me alone. Uh, hmm. Let us check. Uh, see what we can give to the general goods, dude. Let me know if you see anything you like. You sound exactly like Lugan. Everything's for sale, my friend. What do you got oh, for a sale? bit of this and a bit of that. Uh, weapons. Appar no, I don't need any of your stuff. Uh, apparel. Can you buy my rings? Yeah, you can. Uh, do do do. Miscellaneous. He's not gonna be able to buy a lot of this, but I'll sell him what I can. Uh, okay, now he's broke. He has no more money. Do come back. Okay, so you don't need guys need to yes. watch all this, but uh, that's gonna be the end of part 17. Thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, drop a like, comment, all that good stuff. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.